morning everyone. Today's Saturday, so we're going to get in here and see what the previous owner left on the boat. There's all kinds of things down there. So we're going to go through all this, do a little clean out today, see what we can use, what we can't use, we're going to throw away, and go from there. So y'all come along with us while I crawl in the hole. We got the boat, we got the boat home, we got insurance on the boat. Now we got to figure out and get to know the boat. Uh, the previous owner left a bunch of spares, as they like to be called, on the boat. We don't know exactly what it is, but we know up here on the flybridge, underneath uh, here is a bunch of storage. There's about three or four uh, big plastic tote bins in there full of stuff. I believe it's some oil filters, fuel filters. Odds and end stuff. We don't know exactly. Is there any alternators? Is there any props? So we're going to go find out today. So Kim's going. Because the reason why I have to go in there to do it is because they screwed the totes down so you can't take the totes out and see what all's in them. So yeah, that way they don't there. move all over underneath. And there's yeah. so many wires back there. It's something else. I'll show you that later underneath there. But. Uh, I can't fit down there, so Kim <laughs> thankfully volunteered. So here we go. We're going to go. We're going in. All right, everybody. Kim and I have worked all this out. Kind of got it somewhat organized. Just want to give you a little report of what we got going on. So we're going to start right here. And Kim's going to explain what these things are and how much they cost. Those are Wix filters, and it is an oil filter for the engine. We have nine, I mean, we have six of those for a total of $54 just right there. So how much are they a piece? I just said $9. $9 a piece? $9 a piece. We have six of them. They're $54. Right. The next thing we got is fuel filters, and we're assuming this CAT uh, uh, IR0750 is the same as these other ones, of these Baldwin filters that, that are BF970. They're about $5 a piece, and we have seven of those, so that's about $35 right there. All right, and then we got your Raycor uh, 10 micron uh, filters here. How many of those we got, Kim? We have eight of those. How much are those? They are $8 a piece. Well, eight times eight is about $64, or something like that. It used to be. It still is. I'm All sorry, right. I should have said that. All right, then the next thing we got is the R24Ts. Those are fuel filters. We have seven of those. They're $20 a piece, and that's $140. Okay. And then the next thing we have is a fuel filter, part number 24-52020. That's the Lugers. And those are for the engine fuel filters. Okay. And those are $13 a piece, and we have nine of them. That's $117. All right, and we also think these are the same. We're not quite sure. We'll figure it all out once I go down there and see what's below. These are BT8409s. They may have just been something left over uh, that were extras, and he, he reloaded on these. But we think these are all the same, so there's three more of these, we believe. And now, what, what are you saying that that should go to? This should be the fuel filter, I think, for the engine okay. also, but we're not I mean, sure. Okay, but we have three of those? Yeah. BT8409s. And that's by a wick, right? That's Baldwin. Oh, that's Baldwin? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Then we've got the uh, um, a solenoid, an ST85 from Napa. And what is that, Kim? 40 bucks. It's a starter. It's a starter solenoid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we've got a Wix. Uh, Fuel filter for the generator is 33386. That's, we have one of those and that's $7. Okay. Then we've got uh, just spare toilet the parts. toilet grinder parts, just some spare parts in here, miscellaneous stuff. We've got our Jepsco impellers. Uh, they were from 2014. 
they're sealed up but I may pick up a couple other ones and use these for spares just in case since they've been in there so long and those are twenty dollars a piece we have two of them okay and so those for that and then we've got the profile R uh, for the generator Japsco impeller what is that the Japsco impeller for the generator a one two one zero 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 one dash P oh okay here it is I'm sorry we have one of those that's twenty dollars I'll say okay then we got a bunch of miscellaneous belts we'll start first by uh, We've got a raw water for the Caterpillar, uh, 9580 HD. We have two of those. Napa. We've got At $20. $20 a piece. Or $10. $20, $10. $20 for both. They're $10 a piece. $10 a piece. Then we got a Caterpillar used pump for a 2P 4230. 4230. I didn't add that in, but that's $10 since it's used. Then we, then we got some alternator belts, 9490 HDs from Napa. Uh, those are ten dollars a piece. I'll say that's twenty dollars. Then we've got a three K three zero zero eight. That would be six dollars, but that's a used one. It's a used so I didn't, one. I didn't count that. All right. Then I got a list of stuff. Then I got a list of stuff right here that I don't know exactly what it goes for. It's an XL7300. I'll just have to go below to see what this fits. I'm assuming this may be for the generator, but I don't know. Those are $15 a piece. And then we got some miscellaneous stuff in here. I don't know what these are. Maybe somebody can tell me, you know, what these are what these are for. Got some parts, miscellaneous parts. I don't know if these are for the toilet. Or what these are. It looks like they screw in there. Some fittings. Got two of those. And then we've got a uh, a pressure switch for a Jabsco. So I think this is for. I believe it's for the water pump, but I'm really not sure. And then also inside of here, I have got uh, some miscellaneous stuff, and I'll show you that here in, in just a minute. Here we've got some um, some uh, seals material. We got some uh, uh, a light, a spare light yeah, for the that front. Yeah, that's hundred bucks. That's a hundred hour light for search our light. our searchlight. Then we've got some miscellaneous door parts. We've got an engine water pump uh, cover. Gaskets, screws. Got, that still noise got here. some uh, uh, miscellaneous odds and ends stuff. Then we've got a, uh, a relay off. switches. It's a fuel shut off. Seventy-five bucks. And we also have the you know, you have the, um, yeah. the other little things in there. Those are those are twenty dollars pieces. Little, There's um, some little fifty switches. amp uh, uh, DC uh, uh, relays in here. Or what did I call them? You said it's a 12 volt DC continuous relay. Yeah, it's a relay. So there's four of those in here. Eight bucks. And it's just some miscellaneous stuff and push button stuff for the toilets and stuff. All right, in here we got an engine zinc kit. I'm going to go through this and find out wh where all my zincs are on the engines. And I'm probably going to have to get the book out and read that, do a little searching. We got some mechanical tack splitter drives. Got two of those. We have a Marsh manufacturing uh, pump, uh, 115 volt pump, and I believe this is for the air conditioners, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, a raw water pump for the ACs. And then I got a spare generator, or uh, excuse me, alternator over here uh, for uh, one of the engines. So that's all sealed up. It's 250 bucks. So. That's a nice little find there to have that. I haven't found a starter yet or anything to do with this starter, so I may get one of those for a backup. But downstairs, we didn't bring it up there, but you have the um, control board for, board for the cruise air, which is $250. So I think that's a pretty good find. All the extra spares that we have here, life jackets. We've got some circuit boards, 
and stuff for the air conditioners downstairs that Kim had found. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good day stretching all this out and knowing exactly what we got, and then we're going to put it all back in. But hey, this is kind of like a bonus. We knew there was some spares there. So what was the total amount on everything? $1,733. $1,700 worth of stuff that came with the boat. So we take that as a little landy up here in Louisiana. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, Kim, for the help of calling in and getting everything out. But uh, just goes to show you what you got to have if you're going to live, you know, full time on a boat or have enough spares to do what you got to do. So anyway, this is Daryl. Kim. Kim's over there, and uh, stop the madness. Start the adventure. We appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe. We got some more great videos coming up. Hope and you enjoyed comment. this one. Yeah, comment down below if you know what some of these parts are, or if you know what some of these filters go to that I misspoke of. Chime in. Always welcome. Otherwise, see you later.